Hello everyone. I was thinking about selling this beautiful Sony FX deck, but then I remember that it has a little bit brighter sound than it should be. And I decided to measure the THD and that was I was thinking about and it's confirmed this deck has a higher THD than needed. Let's measure together. So we go in for THD left and then right. So I do recording. I technically we just recording both channels right now. Then I will rewind back and we will measure THD on the left and right channel. So if we will go to the spectrum, now we have pure 400 gears and the lower so one kilogertz and two kilogertz harmonics but it's it technically should be 800 gears and then 1200 gears so probably it's 12 i'm not sure why it shows this way but anyway you see there are not many harmonics okay now let's rewind back and play it should start right now and here what i thought you see this harmonics uh, 12 kilohertz and then like 25 so on like they're too high it's too close <laughs> and if we will measure it give us uh more than three percent thd you see on the left channel and like almost three on the right channel that's what we will be fixing today so our goal is to make the hd below one percent i will be replacing capacitors on the audio pass so i have to replace this one 4.7 microfarad c113 then if you see signal pass Another one C134 and then it gets to the output jack. So technically I need to replace uh, four capacitors on the playback side. And now let's see recording side. Uh, where is the connectors? So it's line out, where is line in? Mic jack. I here line in connector gets to the switch here the one C104 capacitor needs to be replaced C105 I that's a input amplifier and then it should get to the recording circuit here in the microchip and here next one uh, C151, then it's rec level, and C154. Okay, not many, like about a dozen of capacitors needs to be replaced. All right, I will do that, and then we will measure again. See you soon. Hey guys, so here is a 113 and 213. These two capacitors, they, as you may see, bipolar and two here 134 and 234 these guys again bipolar this is for the playback circuit and then i will check for the record circuit and show you see you soon hello guys and here are all replaced capacitors so for your reference so you may see which one to replace And here. So in total it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Uh, the only discrepancy from the schematic I found these two capacitors, 153 and 253. I installed it as in schematic 22 microfarad. And uh, here we installed it 4.7 microfarad. 
So let's, let's see, let's measure how it will perform and then decide. See you soon. Hey guys, and here I'm testing results. I have to tune deck because it's, it's get quite a hell of more high frequencies and I had to significantly increase bias. Now when deck is tuned, now I'm testing uh, distortions, THD, total harmonic distortions. All right. Now let's rewind and play and see what we get. 1.4, 1.5% on the right, 1.8 on the left. Oh, yeah. That's the best I, I I get from this deck. You've seen I replaced all capacitors. It's tuned. It plays really nice, uh, and uh, I would say now it's it's not so bright. It's it's almost right there. Let's see harmonics uh, spectrum. Let me rewind back. Oh, yeah. That's why it was minus 30 decibel, third harmonic. Now it's minus 50. Not ideal, but for this age, for this level of the deck, it's not three head, it's not so high grade. It has a little bit worn head, so I believe it's perfect results. All right, sounds good. Now I will record music and check how it plays. See you soon.